हेलो नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू आवर सो यू आर वाचिंग चैनल आई एम सी इट्स मी बेनिस भंडारी टुडे वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट डिफरेंट टॉपिक दैट इज रिलेटेड टू सोशल कॉज एंड द इंस्टीट्यूशंस वी हैव अ स्पेशल गेस्ट ही इज नॉन अदर देन अमनदीप सिंह टीन स्टूडेंट वेलफेयर ऑफ बाबा फ्रीड ग्रुप ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूशंस पंजाब लेट्स वेलकम हिम अमनदीप वेलकम टू आवर सो थैंक यू एंड नमस्ते टू ऑल हाउ यू फीलिंग राइट नाउ Ha I'm feeling good I'm really feeling very uh, honored to be here in your show and thank you and it's all just because of you guys so you are the dean of uh, their welfare in uh, uh, welfare uh, students uh, tell me about you and your institution first of all uh actually i'm the dean student welfare of baba freed group of institutions uh, baba freed group of institutions it's a very big institutions in punjab and uh, we are having uh, 12000 plus students and having 50 plus regular courses in our institution and uh, if we if you want to talk about our institution then i must tell you first uh, about our chairman because you know uh, it's it's the vision of our chairman it's the dream project of our chairman and uh, uh, our chairman has started his journey way back in 1993 and he started this institution from just a school and he started from nursery nursery class and right now it's the institution where 12000 plus students are studying and 50 plus regular courses are going on it's a very very tremendous thing and the very basic very uh, appreciable thing about our chairman sir is his vision he is having a very broad vision and uh, why he took it his uh, step to make such a organization because you know in uh, existing at that time the existing education system was need some sort of reformations it need to be revamped because we are teaching the people we can't make them competent to do something extra we can't take them out of the box so our chairman has took the initiative to take the students out of the box to show them different different platforms and right now you know we our chair it's it's the vision of our chairman by which we are having our students are doing marvelous and they are the shine stars for our institution that's really and uh, thank you thank you chairman sir it's for just because of you yeah uh, it's all about your institution so uh, recently uh, your institution is uh, has awarded as a uh, award it by uh, nepalese government and uh, that is a uh, uh, tell me about that award and uh, what kinds of award was that uh um, bandari it's uh, first of all we are really feel very honored and we are really very pleased to uh, say like this you know we have received such a award from the prime minister of nepal and uh, we don't have any words to express our gratitude for this uh, uh, for all this you know uh, and i really thank uh, sherpa community of nepal as well as uh, the global sherpa community for honoring us on and giving us the appreciation for such noble causes and uh, really thankful to them for promoting such noble causes and uh, it's just the inspiration for all all others also because they may also get motivated and also help other people and also doing such acts of kindness and uh, uh, this uh, award is basically uh, given to us jeff because at the time of the earthquake and uh, uh, normally people help the nepal government and we are also one of them and we also contribute a little from our side to the nepal government at that time and uh, they just recognize that at present and they uh, give us a um, certificate of appreciation and uh, really thankful to them at that time uh, earthquake uh, nepalese people have uh, has uh, really suffer from that what kinds of uh, effort what kinds of support uh, your institution done to us uh, actually at that time it was really very terrible situation because the whole nepal is suffered from that uh, earthquake no so at that time uh, we try our best to help the uh, nepal people basically we try ourselves to help each and every people over here but it's not possible but still we try to help uh, a maximum of them and uh, uh, it's again the 
nature and the kindness of our chairman sir that he is really very big heart and at that time we helped uh, the government of uh, nepal as well as with some monetary uh, things and also uh, for the people of nepal and the students of nepal uh, being a, an educational institution well, our chairman has announced a special scholarship of rupees 1 lakh and it it remains consistent for 3 years he has announced a scholarship of rupees 1 lakh for 3 years and we uh, have continuously given the 1 lakh scholarship to all the nepali students for 3 years yeah uh, yeah the its uh, time has been completed or again they are get uh, yeah this year uh, last year like uh, it's the three years have been completed but still uh, we would like to plan something because it's not like it's a charity begins at home and charity can't end anywhere so uh, like social causes you need to accelerate accelerate uh, these kind of acts no so uh, we plan something like we find some another ways by which uh, by the means of which we may help nepali people or by which uh, we can do such social causes again Yeah. So Nepalese students are getting uh, scholarship uh, from there, uh, but uh, how many uh, students are going there, and what is the ratio of Nepalese students they are going and studying and all? What is the rate? Uh, actually, uh, Vandari, uh, till now we have 50 plus uh, students from Nepal uh, from uh, studying in our campus. You know, we have different different uh, courses. We have uh, engineering courses. We have B.Sc. Agriculture. We have B.Sc. Medical, B.B.A., M.B.A., and we have humanity courses, M.Scs, and the most prominent courses in Nepal are like engineering, agriculture, and all. And the very wonderful thing about uh, Nepali students is, you know, they are really very brilliant and they're doing marvelous things in our institutions. And if I talk you, I uh, talk about the students who are studying over agri agriculture over there. For example, Bijita, uh, one of the student, Bijita Dikari, he is the topper of the university uh, from Nepal and uh, topper of the university, uh, topper of the college. Uh, you know and uh, there are number of other students uh, who are studying over there if we talk about uh, students who are studying in engineering you might have uh, you all know subodh regmi and he is doing wonderful job the uh, one thing better which thing by which the students are doing brilliant is whether we provide them platforms yes we do we provide them platforms and that's the only reason the students have the chances to showcase their talent and uh, they, and you know they not only showcase their talent and they do the marvelous things our students if we talk our students recently uh, let me tell you recently one of the national level event hackathon uh, it's the uh, initiative of government of india hackathon to promote such kind of uh, technical uh, events technical things na no? so we recently organized hackathon 2017 in our campus and uh, number of uh, teams from different different regions of all over india participated in that event and in that event our students got second position and in that two students are from nepal two students are from nepal they are brilliant in other activities also now they students and nepali students they are also brilliant in sports they are going for inter university games they are for national games they are also very brilliant in technical activities cultural activities they are brilliant in each and every era and if you talk about managing activities they are brilliant we provide them platforms to organize such events na <laughs> uh, so basically uh, besides study they can get uh, many opportunities from there Ah oh, that's really very good question uh, actually Baba Farid group of institution it's not a static campus it's a very live campus and we keep on doing activities on daily basis and so that our students may get busy in those activities uh, some of the students are organizing some of the our students are participating some of the students are doing uh, uh, preparations for the, those events and it's a wonderful job and um, not even a single day when uh, there is no event in our campus recently uh, the head of the infosys dr vikas ahuja came to our uh, campus mr sophie is who visited our campus and they when they share their valuable things with the students the students definitely get something from them and uh, they 
just implement those things in their life and <laughs> get on the right track. Yeah. Uh, all the students from Nepal uh, who wants to go there and study, uh, what what kinds of things they get uh, besides studying? Uh, what is their actual condition? Uh, tell me about their uh, in staying, otherwise uh, environment. Tell me about. Um, Bandari actually, uh, I, as I told you earlier, just doing a degree and having a degree doesn't mean you are perfect and you can do anything. You know, you must have some skills to compete the world. You must have some skills. So our main focus is to make a person all-rounder, to have some skills so that we try to make a person adaptable. And we provide them, provide them different, different platforms so that he may showcase their talent and he can find out his or her inner talent which he or she may not have any <laughs> Uh, idea that uh, he may she he or she may have uh, that kind of talent as well but as per like the facilities to the Nepali students or any other students are concerned we don't have we have Nepali students but we have students from 20 plus states from India and we have students from Bhutan JNK and different different places uh, we have special facilities for them we provide them AC hostels over there, wi fully a Wi-Fi campus. You may see our campus. It's a fully Wi-Fi campus, fully AC hostels. Laundry is there. They need not to go for laundry, fooding. Each and every amenities, gym, nice gymnasiums, uh, grounds, each and everything. Each and everything is there. They may, they may find each and every and it's a second home for them. It's a kind of second home. And sometimes students say that it's not second home, it's our first home. <laughs> It's also like this. So uh, these are the information about your uni university. Uh, so uh, let me know about uh, other uh, services uh, like uh, earlier you said about earthquake big teams. And what kinds of uh, works you did, your organization did here at that time? And uh, besides your uh, uh, supports to government uh, uh, in the field, uh, what kind of uh, work your organization did at that time? Uh, besides the support we of, uh, gave to the government of Nepal, uh, we also uh, gave special scholarships to the students who want to uh, go to study in India. And we also uh, we offer special scholarship of rupees 1.5 lakh at that time. For that can, uh, year, we uh, provide special scholarship 1.5 lakh, and after that, we uh, reduce it to 1 lakh for next two years. No? And uh, again, if, the, if they are brilliant students, they can also get scholarship from our campus. Like we have a online test as well, online test and uh, then there may be an interview round for them. And also uh, sometimes we, we are going to launch this test uh, for this year as well in Nepal. Well, because last year we offered a special one lakh scholarship to all but right now that scholarship is over and we launch a special test for our institution and uh, on the behalf of that meritorious students will be awarded with scholarships so uh, we we try to do some uh, these kind of social causes again and again and try to promote the brilliant students because they are our respect they are our shine stars uh, so at that time you were here at that earthquake. Uh, what uh, what differences you found here? Uh, there is a really different by the government. Uh, earthquake big team are getting uh, really facilities or not? What is the difference you find it? Actually, uh, Bandari, uh, what I feel at in that year I have visited Nepal, Kathmandu uh, twice, thrice. But uh, what I feel is that the situation was very terrible at that time. You know, some of the uh, persons of Kathmandu, they are just uh, get rid of their homes and they need to come under open roof. Na. So uh, it's a very terrible situation. But you know, when we talk about ke, uh, some sort of kind of rescue operations for that, some kind of inhalements given to the uh, victims, but. What I feel at that time ki although government and other persons are trying their best but still uh, it not reached it's not reached uh, to each and every person over there because the situation was very terrible at that time and it was not over and uh, earthquakes are still unpredictable at that time 
whenever we uh, reform something whenever we try to revamp something then again some earthquake came and again it uh, destructs the whole things so uh, it's the really very difficult task for the nepali government as well as the uh, social welfare associations of nepal to overcome that so uh, if, is there any plan to uh, collaboration with the nepalese uh, uh, social welfare organization uh, with your institution yeah actually uh, we are always ready as i told you earlier uh, we have a separate social welfare department running under the aegis of baba freed group of institutions and uh, uh, we try to contribute as maximum as we can done for the social causes under that department and in india as well uh, we are trying to do different different activities of social causes and uh, similarly like uh, uh, we in collaboration with the sherpa community we contribute to the government of nepal and also uh, i just came to know that do you people are also running one social welfare organization and uh, we feel really very pleased to uh, collaborate with you guys also and uh, would love to uh, work for social cause with you guys and uh, whenever it requires we will work together yeah definitely it's uh, really good for us uh, as well uh, so uh, uh, basically uh, we are talking about your institution and all uh, so let me know um, nepalese students all of uh, these uh, nepalese uh, people students are really interested to go there and uh, study uh, so what do you want to say about uh, nepalese students and all the students who are going to study there uh i'm just going to ask one thing to all these students uh, you know it's it's the belief system which makes you strong and uh, there are only two things you know uh, it's the belief system who either makes you mentally strong or strongly mental so make a belief system to do something good and it's the belief system uh, that uh, due to that you may have endless hope or hopeless end yeah uh, it's it's very true <laughs> now it's up to you what you want to choose it's up to you what you want to choose if you want to make you want to make a bright future for yourself just go to study and just try to use each and every platform because just mere the degree having the degree in your hands doesn't work for you it doesn't work for you please mind it it doesn't work for you you need some skills you need some sort of capabilities by which you can compete with the existing world technologies are changing if you say in this kind of engineering world computer science or anything else technologies are changing month by month year by year is too late for me to say like this it's changing month by month you should be very very adaptable to change yourself accordingly and uh, my dear things are getting easy it's not going difficult so try to adapt with new technologies so make yourself adaptable and try to use different different platforms because it's the failures who teaches you more than your success so don't get rid of failures if you fail just feel yourself lucky because it will teach you some lesson and you will definitely get a very good success you can have any example you can have any examples we have uh, number of examples uh, you can go through internet and you may find ki how people get successful after number of failures yeah so that's my thing if you want to choose any course just try to understand that just read go through that course just for yourself not for marks not for just mere degree and try to incorporate the each and every platform of that course and go into the deep technicalities and then time is yours nobody will stop you nobody will stop you and it's for sure so it was uh, really nice talking to you at last about a uh, social service uh, social cause what do you want to say to the nepalese people yeah actually i just want to say actually i'm i don't feel myself in any position to say anybody about this but i just request all the uh, persons of nepal as well as uh, all the persons of all over the world to uh, just contribute a bit towards the social causes because our little contribution 
it it may be a very bigger for somebody somebody in need okay so uh, just contribute a little and that's that's what i just want to request it's just a request nothing else thank you all right thank you very much for coming here yeah thank you thank you thank you banari <laughs> it's very very nice to uh, be part of this interview and uh, i just want to thank you all for your support and thank you thank you very much thank you all audience so with this we are really end up this show today we had a really awesome time we got a knowledge about uh, social work and the institutions which was at india so thank you very much for watching channel img please don't forget to like and subscribe thank you very much <laughs>